so you had three heart attacks mm. before you were 36. Yeah. And you were sitting there saying, yeah, it's all about healthy yeah. eating. And it was for you, wasn't it? Well, that's uh, people would love to say that um, I had the heart attacks because I was an unhealthy eater. I didn't. I had the heart attacks because I had a really rare heart condition. Yes. But I survived because I was a healthy eater. Um, so thank goodness in my teens and 20s, I actually did take care of myself. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been here today. I had three children under the age of five at the time. And it's very, it's very scary. It was, it was an mm -hmm. awful, terribly dark time. Um, but you sort of eat yourself well haven't you yeah I have doctors have a hard time explaining why I'm doing so well my LAD this is medical talk I'm yeah, my yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. a lady without an LAD um, and I survive that's the main what is an LAD? <laughs> it's, it's the main artery in your heart and my main artery usually it gets blocked something yes. happens or a little artery gets blocked my whole artery fell apart from top to bottom so it's catastrophic yes. they, the only thing they could do to treat me would have been an emergency heart transplant and mm. they don't do that but as you can see I'm still here you and I've got, certainly are I've got quite a lot of breath <laughs> so well. Bundles of energy. And that's the thing, but you can't always tell from the outside no, if someone's going to be vulnerable to heart disease. And, and heart disease is the biggest killer over all of women. We hear so much about breast cancer we and do. the other women cancers, mm -hmm. um, but actually heart disease is the biggest killer. I was killer really of shocked to hear that, that yeah. heart disease kills more women than breast cancer. Absolutely. And quite rightly we, we focus on breast cancer, but we should maybe yes. focus oh, on more definitely. on heart well, disease. Partly protected until the menopause, but after that women catch up very quickly with men's oh, uh, rate of heart disease. Right. So we still need that healthy lifestyle which yeah. you know, you've, uh, and I think it's really you know, important that people don't just think about um, being healthy at the weekend. People do say to me, right, when am I going to start? Mm -hmm. And right. I think, right, it's, it's t today, Every yeah. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, and just take it one meal at a time. Everyone has barriers. People don't think, oh, I can't eat. I haven't got time, yeah. I can't exercise. You can take it one meal at a time and eat the best you can meal, eat one meal at a time. If you can get a hurry on to the bus, then run for the bus or walk quicker to the bus, that's exercise. Yeah. Mm. There are sure. things you can do all the time. Small baby steps. Do you know what? It's really good because Corey are highlighting this, aren't they? We've seen Gail's boyfriend, Michael. He's, he's discovered that he might have a heart condition. Let's have a look. I've hardly slept all weekend for worrying. The easiest thing was to pretend it wasn't happening. Michael, you need to know the answer. And if you have got some kind of condition, then they'll be able to manage it. Or you might be fine. You could be worrying over nothing. Or I might be dying already. Do you know what? It's good when soaps do that. Because Corey, Corey always does anything like that. It raises awareness, it gets people talking. I wonder does. if he can get a GP appointment, because he needs one. Uh, yeah, he yeah, needs to get sorted out quickly. Yeah. Gail, will sort levels. It. Gail will fix Gail it. Will fix oh, it. yeah, she can ECG. get in there. That's, That's what often actually. happens with women, though, isn't it? It's the women that frog march their men <laughs> to yeah. the hospital. Them, for and whatever condition it may be, they, they certainly do Thank that. Thank goodness they mm. do. I know. But look, on to some other uh, stories in the, in the papers today. New research uh, talking about statins. Now, we... We hear about statins, we hear good things, bad things. Yep. How worried should we well, be? You're taking a statin, uh, and you're yep. taking a statin for a really good reason. Oh. Seven million people take statins to, to lower high cholesterol levels. Right. And people who are at a 10% higher risk of heart disease are often offered a statin. Now, statins work really well. They, they reduce cholesterol levels by about 25%. Really significant. Right. But they do come at a price because people get muscle mm. pains, they mm. get memory mm. lapses but sometimes. But you've got to take that for the condition that you've got. I do, and I do have to cope with the side effects of it, but, but I take it and I happily take it because I'm still here 10 years after yeah. my event and otherwise I wouldn't be. You know that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. And one of the disadvantages from recent research is that it slightly increases the risk of diabetes type 2 right. by about 12% over four years. However, um, uh, the benefits far mm. outweigh the risks if you're in an at-risk category for heart disease. No, exactly. It's one of those things that you have to take the advice of your doctor Absolutely. and you have to be informed and yeah. you can make that decision. Absolutely. Now, what about this? This is interesting. Taking your work home with you yes. could damage your health. Yes. Uh, they, they looked at 57,000 workers and found out who is getting phone calls or emails from the boss on their computer tablet or on their smartphone. Mm -hmm. And of those that get calls from their boss, out of hours, weekends and uh, in the evenings, uh, they're the ones more, more likely to suffer with insomnia, fatigue, yeah. muscle pains and heart disease. And if it's true, and I hope it isn't, my PA Kim's probably not got long to live. No. I'm always <laughs> pestering at weekends. You are, all the time. All the time. All the time. But do you think it's that, it's that odd thing? You know, before we had the internet, and the internet's an amazing mm. thing, amazing thing. Yeah. But before we had that, you did stop at some point. You know, whether mm. your day was 9 to 5 or if you worked early shifts, you know, that like we all mm. do. But your day would stop at some point, but it doesn't, it bleeds into 
into the hole of the mm. time. There is Absolutely. never a time, if you've got your mm. phone, mm. that people can't get you, mm. even in the middle of nowhere. It, it, it's, uh, we use the word addictive a lot, but yes. people can't resist. You know, what does that message it say? Goes, I have and to like answer that, it. Like a slave mm. looking Absolutely. at it. Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. And of course, you know, if you can't ever re recover and, and recuperate and unwind from the stresses of the day, it is going to have a knock on effect. So I think mm. we all need to be a bit more disciplined about saying, you know, I will answer my phone until that mm. point in the yes. evening, but and after things, that, it's Things free. will wait. People will wait. I have three, well, they're growing now, but three children. And when I'm working, sometimes I will say, I'll, I can't speak to you between three and five. I'll right. go back to my emails in the evening if necessary, mm -hmm. but I'm with the children in the yes. afternoon. So yes. d don't bother calling because mm. I can't answer. I'll switch no, it off. Good idea. It's hard, though, isn't it? Not to. to it is. I'm completely addicted to it. It's terrible. <laughs> I, I, I actually, I think I. Dr. Hilary, I need help. You need help? <laughs> I do. Let's I need to it. come and see you. Thank you both very, very much indeed. It's lovely to see you.